Hi everyone. Good day to all. And uh, sorry, it's been quite long since I uploaded some videos because of some operational reasons. And yes, uh, um, from now onwards, uh, you can expect uh, some videos on our channel. And uh, today, I would like to show how to dismantle uh, exhaust valve of normal uh, MC engines. Earlier in our channel, we had uh, uh, posted how to overall uh, ME engine cylinder head, sorry, ME engine uh, exhaust valve. In this video, you will find how to dismantle the exhaust valve of MC engines, MAN BMW. Let's go inside the video. This is the exhaust valve uh, for uh, MC engines, MAN BMW. So, this is the one which uh, we are going to dismantle now. So, before uh, dismantling, uh, always have a reference with manual so that if there is any new things implemented, you can learn it. So, first, initially have a marking on the air cylinder so that while putting back. You can fix on the same line so now uh, I am opening the nuts of oil cylinder initially we have to remove the oil cylinder first so we got around uh, 10 nuts which we need to remove it either you can remove it manually or you can use manually in the sense spanner or you can use pneumatic spanner for it and uh, now uh, myself and junior engineer uh, was performing this job so we are using pneumatics tool to remove the nuts so after removing the nut uh, take out the handle after taking out the handle you can use a crane and lift the oil cylinder always use uh, proper lifting tools once uh, oil cylinder is kept lift then it's time to take out the air piston so air piston will be having a wire seizing wire which has been connected with all the bolts so first you remove the wire and then you have to unscrew the bolts so after unscrewing the bolts take out the spacer and then uh, you can you have to remove the oil cylinder uh, sorry air piston so just tap over it if you tap over the air piston you can uh, see the conical ring and this is the conical ring which we need to remove so just remove it it will be in two pieces just remove it after removing the conical uh, piece we have to take out the air piston so for uh, removing the air piston all we need to do is you have to connect the uh, air connection from the air side this is what the air connection which we are uh, going to connect and after connecting this you have to give air supply you have to give air supply and after giving uh, air supply you can see what is going to happen so connect it and open the air while opening the air you can see the air piston coming up so I'm opening the air you can see the piston coming up yeah this is how the piston comes up so we can take out the piston and keep it uh, side so after uh, removing the air piston you can see uh, there will be a seal ring and uh, o-ring in the air piston usually the seal ring you can see it's a teflon ring the blue color one is a teflon ring and inside the piston there will be a green color o-ring so next we need to remove the air cylinder so 
yeah inside you can see the green color thing it's the o-ring yeah. so next you have to fit two eye bolts for removing the air cylinder so that air cylinder uh, again we are fixing the remove the air valve and then you have to fix uh, eye bolt because if you don't remove the air valve you don't find space to fix the eye bolt so now we are uh, fixing the eye bolts both the side you have to fix so after fixing the eye bolt yeah so after fixing the eye bolt we need to lift the air cylinder up so just a tap over it and lift it very slowly that's all after lifting it again take out the oil cylinder and fit it on top of the exhaust valve cage so that is what we are doing now so why we are doing this way is you have to take out the exhaust valve spindle usually uh, people used to fix a belt and take it out what are you saying is don't put the finger in between the oil cylinder and uh, cage you may get your finger hurt so fix the oil cylinder tighten it and you can pull it up and you can see the exhaust valve will come out means exhaust valve is isolated so you can remove the exhaust valve from place usually what people do is they will they will not uh, put the oil cylinder on top of the cage the instead they will put a belt lift it and uh, take it out but I don't prefer that way so next we are going to remove the exhaust valve seat so now uh, we are removing the seat and you can see uh, we have two locking uh, screws it's a uh, uh, allen bolt so uh, here i need to tell that uh, use proper allen key size so if you are using improper size you may damage the head of allen bolt and believe me it will be a big job to open the bolt so always use proper uh, allen key to remove it and yeah okay so we are uh, removing it so oh, both the sides should be removed after uh, removing this uh, allen bolt then you have to take out all the carbons which is deposited in between exhaust valve cage and uh, uh, exhaust valve seat that we are going to do now so now both of us are removing the uh, allen bolt which is holding the exhaust valve seat you can see the allen bolt we are removing this is how the allen bolt looks like and uh, yeah as i say uh, just remove all the carbon deposit you can see lot of carbon because uh, uh, if the carbon deposit is not removed you cannot able to take out the uh, exhaust seat easily it will get stuck so now we are trying to take out and uh, also use some wd-40 so that it will be acting as an anti-rust uh, compound so that uh, it will be more easier yeah, I am spraying some WD-40 compound yeah and uh, spraying all over the side and with the help of zinc anode and a teflon rod just uh, hit on top of it so that uh, it may get uh, eased up so that uh, while lifting the seat will come out from the exhaust valve cage so yeah we are done this next uh, we will try to lift the exhaust valve cage and give it a small tap we are lifting it yeah okay now we are going to lift the exhaust valve cage and uh, yeah okay okay now we are lifting it just give some tap yeah the exhaust valve seat is already out now we can take out the exhaust valve seat out so this is uh, how we need to dismantle exhaust valve of mc engines man bmw mc engines so i believe this video must have given you some idea about how to dismantle exhaust valve of man bmw
MC engines, uh, Vajune engine is showing the exhaust valve, uh, O-ring uh, and the condition of exhaust valve like the carbon deposits and all. So anyway, this will be the part one. The next uh, I will uh, go with part two and part three so that uh, it will be easy for uh, everyone to understand. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. Keep supporting.